Yo, what's poppin' guys? We ready for another amazing, beautiful tournament here. Let me go grab that chat link so you guys can see yourself. Um, let's see. I think the problem is I need to like pick out the S and the HTTPS. That's what I did last time. Oh yeah, see, now it worked. Wild. Perfect. I'll go grab the room ID here. Room ID. Boom. There we go. Perfect. We got it, boys. All right. We got a few more minutes. Might as well go do some more ladder games free right now because all the competitive players are grinding the Duelist Cup. Meanwhile, I will lose my sanity if I grind more Duelist Cup today. <laughs> All the Snake Eyes players on ladder have been opening three or more hand traps. It's, it's so crazy. I just can't. Oh man, I hope this guy just makes two Omni Negates and pass. What the heck? Wait, how do I beat this? Aren't they like towers? Or are they only like untargetable and stuff? There's calculation. You can about here. Oh, so for your opponent. What's this one do? Normal summon, you can add an evil eye card unleashed. This card is equipped with the evil eye of Selene. And target one's supposed to summon monster opponent controls. Destroy it. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Sorry. A link summon an evil eye. Equip one evil eye spell from your graveyard to an evil. Oh my gosh, what's all this? Wait, why does this get to banish already? Oh, this. Plus, if you link someone, you get to equip the. What the heck? Is there a battle or card fight? Oh, this is Celine. Also, can't be targeted. Oh, he's locked out a special. Su There's no way. What is this? Unending nightmare? Nah, no, this guy is a maniac. Oh my gosh, what the? Don't you know this card's a hand, you can special summon this card. And then he gets to link summon during my, what the heck? All right. Well, since we do have talents, we're gonna have to wait till main phase to use this. All right, I think we're gonna lead with the temple. What makes him like lose life? Oh, the unending despair, that's what makes him lose life points. Perfect. Makes it pay a thousand more. Ah. Uh... Uh, I think we pitched that bell star here. That's only gets to get rid of face ups. No defense, okay. Oh, he's just not popping my guy. Huh, that's awkward. Oh. Well, wait a minute. I have no poplar targets actually, which is really awkward. He also has Tikaboo. Oh my gosh. 
I mean, this is just disgusting now. What the heck? Make Link Kribo here. Puts back the Poplar target. Oh no, that was nothing. He has a dark in the graveyard. Ah, but he can just special summon it out. That's so obnoxious. Hmm. Oh, that does play the talents then, right? True. All right. So we'll bait him here. This might also be another unending despair. This guy is just not playing with the talents. What the heck? He's such a man. Ah, it's a fiend. Oh no, I can't make unicorn because it's a fiend. That's depressing. Oh. Okay, why can't I make Xylanthus here? Oh, because I can't use Elf, right? Jesus Christ. God, he's using the end phase. Yo, hey there, Adra. This guy just refused to play into the talents. I had two of in my hand. God. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the dark doesn't have um, any targets in this version of the deck. Huh. Yeah, well, unfortunately, if I made... Unicorn to pop the Tikaboo. I still can't play. I'm not Unicorn, the other one. I just had a target here. That'd be wild. Oh, I'm actually just dead. Oh, that's so crazy. All right, well, there goes my win streak. <laughs> All right. Now let's see who is there for the tournament. Oh, I clicked right click one time too much. All right, we got two people already. Perfect. Let me in. Let's go, Frantic, baby. I'm gonna have all these fools get slapped around, I believe. Oh, maybe I should make an announcement. Um... um, um, um. Um, and then put one here. At tournament participants. There we go. Mochi's here too. Hello there. What's with the little girl singing? Put some Selena Gomez. <laughs> Dude, I wish I get copyright strike. I can sing the Selena Gomez song if you want, though. 
Oh God, Koji, what are you on? Hello there, protege. Ready to win your tournament again? <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me pull this up. We got um, bracket maker tournament, baby. Create the bracket. Yo, Shadow, hello there. All right, so we're, here's the members. Have Mochi, Adra, Frantic. Who is self TK? He left. All right, doesn't matter, I guess. Boom, there you go. Start your free trial, boys. Yo, Shadow's joining too, perfect. All right, Protege better show up here. Oh, Seth, can you free change your name? Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right. Yeah, I need to like tweak this list. Maybe I add another engine to it, I think. But I'm just uh, going to commit Minecraft IRL if I have to play a non-war crime in the Duelist Cup. Maybe this is just the sauce. Yeah, we add the MST. She's pretty nice. Huh. What is my last card? Maybe just a second noob. Surely that's the play. Hmm. We'll see, I guess. All right, we got some more members here. Perf to racist. <laughs> it's so fun. Dude, Rescue Ace has been doing so well on ladder for me. It's wild. I'm contemplating adding the field spell. The uh, Snake Eyes field spell. But like, I never want to use it because if I have the other field spell, I'm using that. Like they're both just like individually. I guess I have no other search target for popular otherwise it's kind of awkward maybe I just play subversion and sack people but i always brick on that card dude it's crazy i always brick on subversion and then my opponents just open triple hand trap unicorn and snatch it's so wild i lose my mind we have six people so far let us see if we can find two more Then we can get started. So, which you guys thinks they're going to win today? I'm gonna say I've seen some of the decks you guys have been cooking. Adros looks pretty based, honestly. Shadows looks really absolutely filthy. I really want to see it pop off with the alternate artwork in there. Yo, wait, is that three feet Ash Blossom? What the heck? That's crazy. What are we missing? Who's usually here? Maybe we spam ping Besso. So I am thinking about play uh, hosting the tournaments like five hours earlier. So Banis is legacy cards are just like the, it's just the the thirty cards. I can know. Uh, well, it's what's in the in the screenshot. Is this visible? Yes. 
So these are these are the band ones. Please do host it earlier. Yeah, because it's getting it's pretty late here for me. So I'm thinking around maybe like 5 p.m. my time. I'd actually be seven hours earlier. That's wild. Yeah, I'll put up some I'll put up a poll on my server and I'll put one on Fatsoid's server too. And we'll go see there's the time that just fits better. It's kind of weird with like all the time zones going on, you know? Like it's midnight for me right now. And for other people, it's like the middle of the day. I sleep by accident, almost missed it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I almost fell asleep too, and I just started cleaning up my house. It's odd to see Electromite in another band list. Yeah. I feel sad, except I'm not playing, so it's not really my problem. Wait, 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 wait. Man. I wish Electronite was a thing in TCG. I would like hella play penned there. Dude, I would grind. I would grind penned. Dulles Cup who? It's 6.10 for you? Uh, in the morning or in the evening? I understand what louder peg is this. Yeah. All right. Koji, what time is it for you? You're in Southeast Asia, right? It's also 610. Oh, wait, no, it was Zexy, right? True. The the one that's usually here as well. From Argentina. Nice. I'll try to remember, but like... I'm horrible at kind of remembering that kind of stuff. <laughs> Wait, so did you stay up for the tournament? Or did you wake up for the tournament? Maybe I have to like quickly make a deck list so I can play my own tournament. Just throw around one. <laughs> Wait, actually. Oh, Rex turn. I was actually just going to play Dynamorphia Lab with like one of each of the Dynamorphia cards because I don't have any more. But no. Why is Rex term on the list? That's so awkward. You're building a deck? Perfect. But we only need one more person. Huh. So I can't play stun. I can't play cash. I can't play pend. Oh wait, lab isn't hit. Oh god, despair. Alright, well we hit shifter, I guess. Unlucky. Maxi's hit. You can play everything else in here, right? Oh, I guess Baron as well. Talons. Wait. I mean, Floodgate bad. You missed like half the Floodgates. There is some pen deck that can be playable. True. But the problem is, I would have to think. However, even though Floodgates are bad, I can just play Rivalry of Skill Drain. <laughs> Um, hmm. Or, wait, maybe I just go incredibly based.
home match is freaking kind of true. Uh, Draco Slayers don't really need Electromite. Okay. We cut this. Why am I playing Droll? Got rid of Called By 2. Are you awkward? So. I guess I can just run more engine then, eh? We just run a bigger lab engine. Um, we lose Baguska, right? If I play Burn, is that okay? Go for it, baby. No Zexy, no Floodgate, I guess. <laughs> That's so real. Oh, true. Valence could play too. Yo, maybe I should get back to playing Valence. That would be pretty saucy. Okay, so we have... Oh, I wonder, do I play another Chaos Inch or another Muckraker? Oh, it's probably just this. You can still play Rivalry. Maybe add a Daruma. And then you can just add more engine maybe three of that it's combos with all mirage all the furniture that's what i play you will just play like idp here we go this is legal right um uh i think so yeah this looks fine perfect Wait, I should have copied this deck. I just ruined my deck list. Well, I guess we're just going to delete it after this. <laughs> Very weird, but don't you ever think about it? Oh, no. Oh, it's only showing... Yeah, see, that's good. Because now you guys don't know what my deck list is. No, no, I don't want your opinion. Y'all are going to snipe me. <laughs> this deck list is horrible. It's the secret sauce. Wait, since I know what you guys are playing, I can add non-engine to deal with it. True, just like run some Skullmeisters and stuff, right? <laughs> How did I just get six bajillion messages here? What, what is this? Wait. Frantic, why are you playing like exactly my list? What the heck? Let's see, what do we have here? Maxi Baron Baguska. Another pop off of Brick Sword, nothing's gonna happen. That's so true. Maybe maybe we got we got Besso in here and I don't even have to play. <laughs> I think the rest of your list looks fine, Frantic. Uh let's go over it again. Yeah, it's just Maxi Baron Baguska, I think. She goes hard with this ban list. Let's go, Besso. These cards are banned. Sasuke is sleeping. Unlucky. You gotta upgrade to the Sharingan to still play the game while you're asleep. <laughs> you gotta play the new hero hand group with his old band. What do you mean Sag, bro? How how is hero hand rip wholesome? You are what's wrong with heroes. <laughs> Not my hero. You're like the villain. Honestly, the, the hand rip hero deck should just be called villain instead of heroes. <laughs> Dang, imagine. What the new Neos build? I guess Cosmo Neos on point, Hero King Calamity? I mean, honestly, go for it. 
Protégé wanted to ban Calamity, but he feels like that's probably fine. Probably because the deck is just trash. <laughs> yeah, so what I think here is probably Tear is good, Lab is good, Virtual World is probably good. Also not hit here. What else is like... I mean, probably... Uh, I think Draco Slayers are probably still fine. Hmm. Honestly, I wonder if Snake Eyes is still good. Like, you only lost Promethean, right? Imagine just playing like TCG Cash Tira. <laughs> Bro, I miss M Pen to two. Maybe we just make a special rule for all my tournaments that you can play two M Pen. Zero back row floodgate hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Guys, uh, maybe everybody just plays like three evenly. Or can you decide if Heroes are Dragon League for real for you? True. I don't like none of the hero card. I mean, I guess it's always only hero card hit. Dragon Link loses Boral Savage. But that's it. It also loses everything that's already banned, which is a lot. Unlucky. It's always not a hero card. I don't know. I've seen this so much for just like consistency in 60 card lists. But, like every time I like screw over some hero player, they just make his old and I just lose. It's so sad. I hate it. I mean, already banned. He said no links. No, I mean, like, um, Chaos Ruler and um, what is it? Wyvern Burster and stuff. There is no legacy ban list. Unfortunately. Well, or fortunately, I guess, depending on. I think it's a joke now, but Snake Eyes makes almost. Wait. Oh, God, it's like some super cope line. Oh, you're doing the recital Starlink thing, right? You get Flamvel Guard with the original Sinful. Oh god, I'm not sure I want to know where this is going. Alright, don't forget Promethean is banned if you're running that for your war crime lines, so... Yeah, I remember Flamvel Guard. I remember, like, actually playing uh, on the DS. All right, so. Martin, how is your deck coming a lot? Oh, we got Beso joining in here. Perfect. You can add him in here. We just gotta see how Martin's doing. I can mark him down. All right, how do I move all this stuff over here? Almost done, perfect. I, I clicked the wrong. Please tell me I can undo an OBS. Thank Christ. How do I? Uh, I selected it. Let's go. I have like too many windows. Okay. Boom. Maybe I set up like different scenes here. Yeah, maybe I like set up different scenes so I can go to like the, the bracket maker scene and everything. Okay, so guys, how many times am I going to shuffle? First person, type an answer. I'll go with that. Unless you put like seven bajillion, then like, no. <laughs> I, pr I probably won't do that then. <laughs> 21. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. He actually just put 70 bajillion, man. Not like this. <laughs> Alright. 
So, yeah, I just gotta wait for Martin to finish up, but you guys can already join in here. Into the rooms, we have Table 1, Adra versus Frantic. Table 2, Mochi versus Shadow. Table 3, Koji vs. Martin, and Table 4, Besso vs. Protégé. Alright. Alrighty, Martin. I hope you don't have any banned cars in here, or you will become banned. Alright, let's go move this over. Paste that. Boom. Oh, that's made it bigger. There we go. Beautiful. And now we have to make sure it all shows up on this. I, I moved the wrong window again. Help! There's so much stuff. Move this over to the side. In case. Oh. Maybe I like squeeze it like this. Oh, that just makes it smaller. What am I doing? Help! Ashes League, alright? Yes. You're right there, just figuring out what to replace Maxi with. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, Martin is Alucard. He is just casually Dracula. Did you watch Helsing? I feel like the original storyline for like actual Helsing was better, but the Helsing Ultimate or whatever it's called just looked cooler but like their plot point made no sense also the prequel movie kind of sucks it like spoilers it this is i'd say it's best of three we'll make it we'll make it best of three we should have the time for it yeah we'll just do best of three for the whole thing Best of threes for everything. All right, you guys can start whenever you're ready. Okay, we'll go minimize this. Uh, wait, who else was on table one? I'm oh, waiting for frantic. Okay, okay, okay. All the DM mummies at table one. All right, let's get started. Oh God, he's blind second. <laughs> oh no, not like this. <laughs> All right, let me know when Frantic, uh... wait, he's already in the room, right? Then I can take off this thing. Oh, lead with the Verna selves, Naturia. Mole Cricket here. Interesting. Camellia to get Valored. You'll love to see it. Maybe this was all a bait. I have another Vernisil. Why the fuck are we on Lady Labyrinth? Uh, something really devious is going on here. And we have Angel. Oh my god. Here's a response. It's gonna be Ash. Nah, you would Ash earlier. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's just like another Valor or something. The petting says. There's a little bit dull from her hand or deck. And now you're with Dolce Lock. Interesting. So now we just go for the Medulce combo, I guess, while having two random bodies on board. Uh, I guess Mole Cricket gets us to Sunflower next turn. Maybe we also go for like Stink Bug or something. That'd be kind of funny. Hmm. Surprised we didn't just make Nap Beast first and then 
do my Dolce board plus the Terrier Beast. But I guess we want like the double monster negate. Maybe that's just more relevant here. There is a second Veiler. Hmm. Well, it's not a hard one, so there's really no reason to like wait for this, I guess. This is awkward though. Is the Medulce link? Oh my gosh. Is this two Medulces? Yeah. Hmm. So, opening double Veiler, kind of nuts. Oh, is Frantic just gone? Oh no. Frantic, come back. We miss you, Frantic. We need you to win the tournament real quick. Oh my god, what? Well. I don't think that was the right target. No? I think you keep them. I think you have to hit the notorious, no? Because now we can still use Mokur again. Well, I guess if you don't get over 3k before whooping is that. Oh my god, it's Shinonoma. <laughs> Wait, this is like one card, no? Oh, he's there? Perfect. Welcome back, Frantic. Alright, so Mole Cricket does nothing here. Well, I guess you could go for like Stink Bug or something. Dude, it would be so funny if you were just casually on Rose Whip and just like completely floodgate the heck out of him. Shinomona needs to move. Well, I'm assuming you search for solo performance, reversal, revolution, activation. There we go. Yeah, and that lets you just move it. Can you play one Camellia? Some holes dead. Oh, God. Well, the thing is, you have a 3k body right now, right? So, until he summons something with 3k, you only get one summon anyways. So, you would need to have... Um, can I search for it here? Related cards? Yeah, so... Do these guys do anything? Yeah, Ancha does nothing. Which one is it? Rose Whip, right? So, if you tag out for this... That would be really, really funny. All right, it looks like we're going to be seeing some Valance comboing going off. Wait, hang on, how this move? We place the guy. Wait, I thought this searches the field spell too. Oh, this card. oh, solo activation is the one card because that places a Shino Gnome, which then gets to search for the field spell. Okay. Roll the five. Is this X wave five? Add a guy. Create. Oh my god, wait, do we get to add the field spell? There's no way, right? Special summon one monster card. Woo. Rose Whip is banned. Wait, we actually banned Rose Whip? That's so hilarious. And Bamboo Shoot, what the heck? Well, I guess we had some foresight at least. <laughs> oh wait, we just casually had the field spell anyways? What? Wait, why does it get to add? I thought this says... Oh, you add an x -ray. Oh, Oh, that's the... He has two effects. He just has like the normal one. Oh, yeah, it's so over. This is so over. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well. Wait, is this an exceed? Oh, it's a link. 
Wait, it isn't. Exi Wait, what the heck? Wait, there's no way. There's no way it's the revenge. Oh no. Koji, this is the, the return. The return of the Ninja Shadow Mosquito. <laughs> Tax the clear and activate one of these effects. Detach one material from this card if you place a lose. Okay. Oh, wait. If you just commit one more monster, you just kill him, right? That's so wild. I'm surprised you didn't just make Beyond the Pendulum. I thought that's a normal play. Oh, maybe we make it now? Oh, this is gonna be so criminal. Wallow. Founder of the Drudge Dragons. Monster control gain. Attack for each card in your opponent's graveyard. If you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard and detach. Deck. I said you get to steal one of his monsters. Imagine just stealing the Lady Labyrinth. That would be so funny. Huh. Interesting. Oh my god, he got nibbed. Oh my god, Koji was fine all along. Oh no, it's not like this. Uh oh. So now you're gonna turn one card in your opponent's graveyard and return it to the deck. I wonder what you want to like put back in his deck though. Ha, oh, the Lady Labyrinth. Interesting. I would assume it's just like gone forever, no? Also, you now lose attack. Hmm. On the token. Like, it would have a hundred more otherwise. Because of the Wallow effect. Ah. Oh. Still a big ass token. Okay, battle phase jump scare. All right. Let's see what Koji can do. Two cards in hand. I don't think anything the graveyard does anything, right? Watch him just like rip a Vern off the top. Oh no, true, we still have the field spells up. He gets to summon out the Mole Cricker for free and his opponent controls a monster with the most attack. All right. Let's see what he summons here. He can summon two monsters. He's actually one Camellia. That's kind of really unfortunate. Can you summon another Mole Cricker with this? Yes. Not like it really matters though, to be honest. All right, more cricket one and okay, so we have one monster in the gate or just some bodies. Oh, we can't see his extra deck. Ree. Gonna make a link to here. So to me, the Donner out the token. Interesting. I'm just gonna swing for 3k. I'm gonna assume we have some hand traps or something in our hand. We didn't normal summon or set anything at all. Oh, you forgot the spirit pendulums. Oh no. Oh no. That's horrible. How about you guys handshake on it? You get to add a spirit pendulum and Koji gets to add another camellia. <laughs> if you guys are both fine with that. <laughs> if you guys want to handshake on it, I'll allow it. <laughs> it is game one after all. Oh, we have the Madolce Salon. And the Vernus. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Why are you on the Labyrinth cards? Is this just gonna be like Mommy Turbo? Where you go for Vera and uh, Lovely or something? Oh my god, he mills the Mudora. That's so disgusting. Oh my gosh. We get to bring back the Angeli. Mudora, oh my god, puts all of her stuff back. So we put back like the Camellia, the, the target for the Medulce. Yeah. Oh, we're not even worrying about the Naturia side. We're just going to go for a Medulce OTK line, I guess. This also gets us into gate. We just summon literally any single monster in our deck, I think. We just win already. The petting says, I run this in Zephra because it's a free special summon. I don't use the effect though because of the Dolce Locks me. <laughs> All right. This will use Numeron Wall or something, even though we control the field spell. TCG rules. All right. Koji taking game one. GG's, guys. Yeah. So if you, if you want to add the. I'm missing cards. I'm okay with that. But if you don't, um, yeah, then, then then don't, I guess. All right, Koji, taking the first one here. Koji, are you fine with it? If he adds the, the spirit so he can actually play his deck. You play the lab engine to discard while kicking big wolf. <laughs> Seems so greedy, though. All right, now how do I cover up the? No, I don't care. Just, just close your eyes, guys, and we'll. Uh, you'll simply not know who won this game. Trust. All right, looks. Oh my God, it's Dark Angel into Sky Strikers. Oh, I already know this is going to end. Yeah, let's do some normal hero shenanigans. Uh, wait, what the heck is this? Infernal Divisor? Wait, wait, hang on, what? Okay, wait, I need to read this card. This card's linking really like hero monster. If you do add to two of the fusion materials mentioned on that card, turn it into your deck to your hand. Wait, that's, that's crazy. Oh, I guess you only want to add one. That's wild to me. We get to add the favorite. Favorite contact. All right, Sunriser for the Miracle. If you, oh, you still have our normal summon? Oh my gosh. Wait, we're intentionally adding Denier. That's so wild. Oh, I assume we're making just DPE right now. Okay. Wow. Wait, this is crazy. Dude, why does Hero look cool? Oh my god, you put it back in the deck so you get to... Summon the... Oh my gosh. Well, it no longer looks cool. I take everything back. DPE coming out here. Well, huh, that sucks. I guess you're not running the Link Karibo. Yeah, that would have been huge here. Why the fuck do you have 7,000 attack? What? That's so disgusting. Wait, we're just, this is just lethal. It's exact lethal. Oh my god. Yo, does this combo line consistently make it have exactly uh, whatever the amount it needs right here? What's it? You have 617. What is it? 63? You consistently get 63 attack on it? That's crazy. 
Yo, Lycan, hello there. All right, I will watch. Wait, we have to watch this one first, and then we will go watch game two. You have the ultra combo? Oh God. Please tell me you don't like Plasma, Dark Claw, Dark Angelum or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see the deck list. This looks illegal. All right, Frantic, um, I just want to point out that Baron is banned, so just like, don't make it, I guess. You can take it out for something else. All right, we're going to leave with the Rhino Heart here. I'm going to go straight into Kit Cal Wait, what happened here, Adra? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. I mean, we're just gonna mill like 50 bajillion cards. We hit the transaction roll, but oh my god. Oh, wait, what? Oh my gosh. We hit rollback, Distrudo, Sheeran, Shuffler. Oh my gosh. This game is so over. And then we have three. Oh my god. Chandra Glear gets to put. Wait, what? Wait, why don't you pitch snow? Oh my god. That's why I don't pitch snow. Wait, that was disgusting. Yo, Frantic, what the heck? He's just casually dead. Okay, that was wild. That was... Honestly, that was pretty nutty. I did not see that line. That's crazy. All right. Beso game two. Wait, bro. Hang on. Protege, why did you opt to go second? If you know he's just going to Dark Angel you. All right, this hand looks like pretty disgusting. Oh my God, it's Ultimate Slayer. I love it. All right. This looks fairly normal stuff. Devicer is pretty disgusting. Just to add one. That's so wild to me. I'm out the Stratos. All right. Looks like the same thing here. Holly for what is it? Sunrise. Oh, Furlough Rage. Right now I get favorite contact. Ah, uh, this gets us back the Polly. Wait, what the? Oh, this guy tags out. Ah, that's how we get to the Sunriser. Okay, I missed that last game. All right, just make the DPE here. Start looping our guys. Get another free body, I guess. Crusader. Gets us to the Dark Angel. Oh, we have to wake up your elemental hero on top now. So what happens if this gets destroyed? A warrior monster from your hand or deck. Oh, oh yeah. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no. Not like this. How can play? Them up. Oh my god. Okay, that was really disgusting. Oh, you don't have a wing kind going for oh god, because you're on board breakers and stuff. Damn, yo, Protege, how are you gonna drop round one? <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Fun fact, with Dolce Mess and Gelato can lose timing because he's an ice cream. <laughs> you know, Ash could grab Kurri Car. Oh, dude, I love doing that. Oh, I love it when you have talents and you just like you add Krikara and either they play into talents or Krikara or whatever and they then just lose. Wait, no. They could just play into neither. I don't even know. Oh, if talents is live, that's how. 
All right, so off to a good start already. No hand traps coming out for Mochi. Let's see what this can set up here. You get three droplets, Econ and Dive all start us in the Dark Angel. Ah, oh, true. Yeah, maybe if you're spell reliant, just uh, run Link Karibo if you know Bessel's gonna join. <laughs> all right, so he's gonna be Synchro climbing all the way up, and then we're gonna be Link climbing. Wait, what did you summon out with the Eldritch? Now we went like super minus here, no? Okay. Oh, we send our own guy. Okay, okay, okay. And then we use it to special summon the dock. That's actually pretty cool. All right, we need to summon a gold lord. And we have one in hand for next turn as well. Oh, well. Uh, pretty good hand. Gonna draw two kaiju this guy. That's disgusting. Wait, we're on the ice barriers. When your opponent's monster effect activate in the field, so they must discard one card where the effect is negated. That does not sound fair. Fields and traps sent from your field to your opponent's graveyard are banished instead. Only use each of the fun. If your opponent controls a monster, you can control it. You can special on this guy. It's crazy. Dude, this is just like. Floodgate Turbo. What the heck? It, what are we activate? Oh, oh, to negate. Okay, okay, okay. I can see that. Oh, Yoko gets a pop of back row, right? Oh, just a card. Oh, it's a monster. Okay. Pitch the Eldritch. Not like we really care about it. When does this work? You have to have Umi and to negate a monster or a spell card. All right, we don't have it. I'm gonna grab Golden Land forever. All right, link off into Vampire Sucker. Yeah. We almost timed out this game. <laughs> I was gonna get us a draw. This gets us to Balor Drock, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. Wait, do we just draw this? We actually just casually drew into the floodgate. All right, there's one ice barrier. Oh, and that. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is unaffected by other card effects, right? So that just beats over it, too. Wait, is this permanent? Things are kind of change that for once monsters attack this trying to get also can't change belt. That's crazy. I mean I guess you just link it off anyway, so it's not like it matters. Or you grab back an electric jellyfish. We have a car you should in graveyard now. Interesting. So not the golden lord here. Wait, why aren't you linking off the Balor Jock to just get it back next turn? Maybe because you timed out. Oh, almost timed out. I, the reason I hate Ice Barrier so much is because in the 25th century rarity collection, the OCG gets maxi and all these different like uh, prints, right? But we get Ice Barrier. Bro, which like actual TCG deck right now plays Ice Barrier? That card is so fake. Makes me so sad. Wait, did you not like attack over anything here? That's crazy. Now when you go second, you're going first hand. Unlucky. Okay, you're gonna go chain all of these cards here. Oh, if you can banish just to put one back in the graveyard. Put a zombie back. That is so good. Zombies are pretty nuts, honestly. Oh, we just win. All right, crazy. Dude, that's pretty wild that we played through all those floodgates. But yeah, you should have definitely linked off the Valor Jock. Unless you, like, don't have links, I guess. I'm pretty sure you do, though, right? Like, surely on, like, the Avenger or something. All right. Let's go check out the newer ones. 
Alrighty. Aegis game two here. Oh, I forgot to update the, the whole thing here. All right, so he won one. Besso won both of them. I forgot what happened with Age of vs. Frantic. I think Frantic won off the check after this. They were going first. Oh yeah, it was it was this. Oh yeah. Okay. Some turn zero plays coming out. I'm Ritara here. We're gonna reframing. Interesting. Reframing feels like such a sideboard card. Alright. I'm gonna speed this up during the combo. Go for Chaos Angel, banish the back row. Oh, huge, because you can't activate it yet. That just outs one of them completely. Now we're gonna go for our Vicious Astraloud. Reborn in the Torrid to go for a Cheng Ying. Oh, and now reframing has extra value because you can banish it from the graveyard to trigger the Cheng Ying. That's pretty good then. What do we, oh my gosh. Dude, how are you milling like an OCG player? What is this? We hit Distrudo here, and then we hit Rollback. Wild. All right. Oh yeah, Pep would have been like nuts here, right? Oh, this actually bounces the Changing. However, I think we just we all yeah okay. Yeah, much just can't be just a battle, but this does let him swing for a bunch of damage. Dark here. Oh, we can suck up an Astralad maybe. Oh, we're going for the Light Heart. Interesting. For our own cross sheep. Oh, you can't special Astralad from the graveyard. You think I just chained him? Ah, uh, you misplayed. Unlucky. Oh, we have the feet Ash though, so it's already a win anyways. Oh, yeah, we're like hella low. True. Alright, GG's. Looks like Asia's gonna take the game two here. Looks pretty evenly matched for the most part, honestly. Alright. Now we're gonna go see Koji versus Martin. The going second Valance build here. What does this thing do? Oh, it's that. Okay. Interesting. We're sending a Vernisult to the graveyard. Wait. We use the bear, right? I'm not. I'm not tripping on this. We use the bear to send the seedlings. Why would you just send a shuffler here? Huh, maybe I'm missing something. I thought for sure you just grabbed the shuffler for just free disruption. Alright. So, we're gonna be uninterrupted. We're gonna go for. Come here. You can grab Duck with the field. With the Vernisil fielder, what? Are you finding that? What do you mean you grab it with uh, the Medulce field? Oh, I just always back Medulce's. Oh, you can. You bounce it with uh, whatever the other guy is. I missed it somewhere now. Chateau puts all those guys back. Here you go, Glass Souffle. So the two cards from Graveyards into the deck. Once in your grave returns to Ah, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So you get it back. So it gets you follow-up. That's nice. Oh, 
All right, field spell is gone. Goodbye. Small war for Lava Golem. Gonna be unaffected by monster effects. Not like it really matters. Wait. All right, well, I mean, that's a really convenient hit right there. Isn't the this thing unaffected now? How do we keep it there? Huh. Got the spirit coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna pop the guy that's gonna dodge it and the guy that's unaffected that we should just lava golem. Oh my god, we get back the lava golem. That's so funny. Well, I guess, uh. Huh. <laughs> He's just protecting his shit. Now you return it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, your link's protected by the Dolce teacher. Just lava golem it, no? It's, it's just no longer protected. You just attribute it with lava golem, right? All right, Morton's going to take another game here. All right, perfect. Now we can go watch some live games. Uh, I think this one's going to take forever, honestly. We'll start from this one. Winks. Can't Lava Gloom under Valence Lock. No, like he lava golemed you. Like he small worded for lava golem, right? And then you like, oh hey, let's make the link monster unaffected. And then he lava golems the two guys that aren't unaffected. Just lava golem the unaffected guy, one of the other dudes, no? I don't think you can use it again the second time with the valence lock. That would make sense, yeah. Alright, what what kind of war crimes are we milling here? Torby Labyrinth. Okay. Oh god, I, I'm ready. We're gonna hit like transaction rollback, a name, and uh, oh my god, a shuffler, and a name, and another furniture. Oh my gosh, dude! If Tillman's had any normal trap card, oh my, what? That's just spot removal. This would be so disgusting. All right, needle bug net. Oh my, god. two needle bug nests. We were hitting our own cards, and we have a welcome lever. Okay, good thing we're chaining this before. Uh, my mommy gets milled. Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's just get from the graveyard. Put the tear cash back. Oh my god. We hit a snow as well. Oh, and the furniture triggers that we just hit. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is this is disgusting. And I was just casually playing our opponent's turn. Oh my gosh. You did miss the traps. That does suck. Putting back the Ariana. Oh, for a mud dragon. This doesn't do anything. Oh, unless we have another fuser name. Huh. Wait, would we just snipe? Oh, we sniped a rhino heart. Oh my god, it didn't trigger. Oh, that's so sad. Zick put a 1.5k is probable. I draw three fields and one search for the field. Mmm. Okay. Drum heart coming out here. Special out all these names. Oh gosh. Surely this gets. Wait, does it matter if this gets I mean, sure, this is the hit, right? What do we do now? It still makes an 8. Oh, if we're running Axel Stardust, it actually gets us to a 10 as well. I'm not sure we want It's probably like Amritara. Wait, did we run through... Oh, we can still run through the Scareclaw stuff. Uh, we're probably only on one of the... Uh -huh. Uh, 
Oh, we just have a rival. Oh, it never mattered. Yeah, maybe we should have. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think we should have possibly gone for like. Uh... What's his face here? Um, the fusion guy, Astrolab, maybe. So, like, excuse me, the shuffler. Ah, uh, and then that could hit what, like. Oh, we still get back to Wakalo, so that's not the hit. Yeah, that's untargetable. Oh, we have the snow as well here. Oh, disgusting. See, this is the part where he flips the rum harp and then we overlay into gigantic and we do full sprite combo. You just aren't ready for it yet, is all. Yeah, all right, well, this looks pretty unfortunate for Adra. Frantic completely crushing him right here. Cross Sheep does nothing either because the guys have been successfully shuffled away. Yeah, huh. God, but hitting Snow plus Shuffle, dude, Needlebug Nest kind of went hard here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Wait, do you have another lab? Oh god, we have another welcome lab. Jesus Christ, Randy. Oh gosh, we get this thing back. We already used big welcome this turn though, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it doesn't show up because it's set. Okay. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> he rips the one of field spell. That's crazy. All right. Grab the Rhino Har. This would just go for a kit again. Oh, we boost all of our aquas, right? Is it? Oh, it's fusions and tier elements. All right. Well, I'm assuming we just bounce Kukulak, get a, a mommy here. Yeah. And then let's see, which of these can we pop? We can special summon Nadim Tuner from the deck. Oh, oh, these all just float. Huh. So I guess we popped the rum heart, probably. But how do we out the other cards? We can't use Welcome Graver. I guess we just beat over him until he runs out. Oh wait, or okay. Okay, okay. I wonder if he, he plays uh, the, the crazy line here. All right, I guess we get back over. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you completely cracked here? He's always oh, not running. Full crackedness. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna Chaos Angel here to get rid of one of them. But if you want Muckraker, you could just reborn it because it's not a once per turn and it's just on special summon. And then you can banish your other one too. That would be disgusting. Just like Chaos Angel plus Snow for Muckraker. Damn. I think it's. Or we have. We actually, have to block like three times. 
Oh, wait. Kaleido Heart. Is a thing that exists. Alright, nice. Actually, found lethal pretty nicely here. Damn, dude, Frantic, your lines are crazy today. You guys are playing scary decks. <laughs> Dude, Frantic is popping off. Maybe this is the day where he wins. Dude, he has like the nuttiest lines here. Goodbye, Mr. Torrid. Torrid is horrid. Haha, <laughs> got him. Alright, well, this was disgusting. You didn't even see transaction rollback. And he just has... <laughs> 17,750 damage. What the? Jesus. So lucky we milled both Millers and Snow as well. I mean, to be fair, he milled like half of his deck, right? But yeah, that is pretty unfortunate. That's crazy. All right. Frantic going 2-1 here. All right. Let's check Martin versus Koji here. Oh, wait. Are they still playing? Wait, did I miss a game? Koji? Koji? I missed a game. Oh, no, this one finished while I was just watching, right? All right, so Koji wins this one. So you guys can start your semis rounds already if you want to. We have Beso versus Koji at table two. Are right, you saying the walk? Oh my God, Martin, your hand is atrocious. What the fuck am I looking at? This has got to be the worst hand I've seen in my entire life. Jesus Christ. Oh, you got Omega baited? Okay, nice. Oh my god, it's an ignition effect. <laughs> oh my god. God, Mart, dude, oh, it makes me cry. What was that hand? Oh. Bouncing the back row, debated. We just have another one. Casually. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What am I looking at? No reason Valens only play stun. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty unlikely you're gonna open like three field spells, small world, and two ways to search the field spell, right? That's really, really unfortunate. Oh, he found lethal. Damn. Yikes. That really sucks, man. Unlucky. Well, at least you got one game. <laughs> it was all the time in non stun Valance. I guess because you draw an extra card, too, so you're more likely to find another one of those, right? So Mochi versus Shadow, how many games have we seen? Only one, right? So watch this one too. I somehow managed to not see who wins this game.
Okay, we have an imperm. Like, what the hell are these cards? Oh my god, it's the thing for the for the rivalry lock. Okay. Yeah, I can see you imperming this. That card is not legal. That's that's not a real card. What the heck? That's so disgusting. Oh, we're sending the chalice here. All right, let's see how far we get the combo before we get absolutely decimated. Wait, hang on. Send one face up Umi you control to the graveyard. This card is always treated as Umi. So summon up to two monsters with different names from your hand and our deck that mention Umi or our water monsters in defense position. Then your potential monster you can also summon a bunch of normals. Alright, but if you look at this. Oh, Umi is no longer on the field if we get this right. I says if there's no face up field spell. So this is turned off too. Interesting. So is there any summon we can have here that gets us an Umi? Doesn't look like it, eh? Wait, what about the jellyfish? Where's the jellyfish? I can't find it. Oh, I think it mills one, right? All right, so this actually doesn't do anything then. Crazy. We're gonna be link climbing all the way up again here. Happens all the time. Not, I think it's algorithm stuff. Fun fact is, feels supposed to only bricks if you draw both. True, they're so good if you only draw like one of them or like not all of your copies. Golden Lord, come, wait, is this just nowhere? Sh Never mind, we're no longer shy. So how does this guy come back? Oh, we use this effect. Never mind. Oh, this is disgusting. Let's go, zombies best deck. I'm gonna buy it. Wait, what? This is crazy. Okay, we actually managed to live here. All right, crazy. Mochi popping off. Extra huge. Okay. Oh my god. It's so funny that this thing is just the water. <laughs> so why does it disappear though? At the end of the battle phase it dies? Someone from your hand grave once that mentions the mirror one was right at the end of the battle phase. Okay, okay, okay. That's why then. Banish another guy here. Wait, the start of the battle phase. We bring back the guy that pops shit. Oh, turn player priority moment. Never mind. We get to negate it. We still live for another turn. Looks pretty resilient, actually. Wild. I'm gonna go for the sucker here. Because we get the Bell's Rock back next turn, anyways. Wait, why are we giving him this card? You are messing up your chain links, my guy. Your stuff goes on chain first because it's your turn. Oh, Duster getting negated. What a pretty nasty rip. Actually, it doesn't really matter as much, but still not a bad card. Oh, we get to steal the Mayakashi because they're water. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh my god. Oh, this is so over, bro. These cards are disgusting. Oh, because we control the Eldritch, we get to bring this back. Oh my gosh, we pop. Oh my. Dude, this deck is so cool. Somehow Moshi found the only variant of his Floodgate deck that makes it even more Floodgatey and funny. And zombies just pop the hell off, bro. Dude, this is so cool. Dude, we got some really good games here. All right. Shadows moving on here. Up against Frantic. Or Semis. 
So table one, we have Frantic vs. Shadow. Table two is Koji vs. Besso. <laughs> you love zombies. Hell yeah, baby. First deck I played in Master Duel was Eldritch because I hadn't played since 2011. So I needed something cheap, which Eldritch was at the time, and easy, which Eldritch was at the time, uh, and competent, which Eldritch was at the time, <laughs> to just start climbing and learning the game again. I played some Shiranui's, but never the Mayakashi's because I didn't understand combo decks back then. I, I started slowly getting into like combo stuff with Prank Kids. That was like the first combo deck I played. And dude, it was so fun. Like being able to like play around different hand traps. God, it was so nice. All right, let's see which criminal scum gets to win the coin flip here. Sure, this game will be incredibly wholesome. You have so many things you knew with the Elvish engine. Yeah, that's true. Dude, that first game you had, where you just used the Golden Lord to like out your guys to like use all their effects, and then you just summon them back. That was so nasty. All right, we're gonna go straight into Infernal Rage here. This one require oh, it's just two elemental heroes, and then I guess it's Stratos for Varus. Oh, we're getting Vion. All right, maybe we have some absolutely devious combo line in mind. I don't know. First Mesolog was Drytron deck. Oh, that's cool. I played a bunch of Drytron too. That was really, really fun. We're using the level 10 Cyber Angel. Is that a uh, Izanami or something, right? Is it the one with like way too much text on it? It has like four effects and like the text block is like microscopic. I know one of the Cyber Angels was too strong. So for Duel Links, for Duel Links. So they released a new a different one for Duel Links. That's just that effect but weaker. Something like that. That was pretty interesting. Odd Gravity Dragon. I only played that in Megalith. Not in not in Drytrons. Alright, Chan Drag Lear here. We're gonna Set the big welcome that's going to get instantly popped by DPE. Convenient. We lost two big welcomes already. Oh my god, we can go for the third one now. Wild. Two furnitures in graveyard as well. Alright, DPE gonna come out. I wonder if we instantly pop here. I think we don't. What is this? Oh gosh. Oh, is this where we just like do the floodgate thing? So how do you make Calamity? This is actually really unlucky. Oh, third player priority moment. We only use the mommy to get these guys back now. Wait, we still have DPE. It's so over. Oh, we popped the DPE. And now we do some Verna Silk Medulce plays, baby. Must be nice to have both Furnishers and Verna Silk for now. <laughs> Level 10 Cyber Drift, remember I can negate the summon. Uh, or pop exotic monsters. Interesting. Yeah, I'd have to go check it out after this. We have some uh, time to draw. I have the it's a good thing I moved the painting over all the way to the side. <laughs> I keep forgetting to minimize it, man. <laughs> we can go check out the cards because we have the the waiting room here. <laughs> so Besso, how do you summon the hero calamity guy? Hmm. 
Mess up, you should use DP on the who, not contact. I don't know what Medulce does, lol. Honestly, same, bro. So real. You get four Neospatians and Neos in one play. Oh, wait, how do you find those? Tasha is the most of Siren's not kind of bent. True. Dude, Natasha is so slept on. Oh my god, going second? You completely just demolish people. Either graveyard handfield or ban it. Wait. What what do you like need to get there? Can you do just like the normal hero combo to end on the calamity? Or do you need to like open a certain like two or three card combo? Like if you just open like Stratos or Ferris, is that enough? All right, Chateau gonna buff everything up. How do we out this stuff? It's like glass of flay or something, right? Gets to remove guys. The spell card that sends a hero near a space to the graveyard. If one is in your hand and deck. Interesting. Dude, why are Tiara and Misu's eyes so hot? Like, I love like that the little heart shaped thing in there, bro. God. I love it. That's just honestly one of the best rituals ever made, but no one notices her. Yeah, the thing is, Drytron isn't like as good in the TCG. Oh, like in paper formats. And in Master Duel, it's just best of one. You want to go first, put up like an unbreakable board, your opponent cries. And going second, if you get to play far enough to actually summon Natasha, you're probably winning anyways. But if you like set up like a, a mid range ish board or something, and then you have like just all the follow up for next turn, oh my god, it goes so hard. Can't shuffle that giant hero, damn. Oh, he's like untarable or something? Huh. Wait, so how does this work? Activate. Oh. The children from shuffling it? Insanely specific protection effect. Dude, that's the funniest thing ever. What the heck? That's so incredibly specific to this matchup exactly. There's no way. Wait, Natasha's good for time games? Isn't uh Oh true, Natasha is the one that gains you life points. Yeah, Benton gets like and then burns and stuff, right? That was the other effect. And Edelton gets back the stuff and increases attack, I think. True. True, Natasha actually pretty decent at TCG that no, just for time. I think it's like a really good side deck card. I just don't think Drytron is that good. <laughs> I wonder how expensive Drytron is. Like in paper. I wonder if they have like any expensive cards. Vernisols are such horrible card design. You, I don't I, honestly I think Vernisols are pretty good card design. Like they hard lock you into Earth. Right? So like Earth effects. I think it's really cool. Cause you can like still set up boards of like other stuff. Right? You can still make an Apo, right? But you just can't use like, you can't, like, abuse, like, extra deck stuff to, like, summon free stuff or anything. I think Block Dragon was broken, and it's super cancer if they get, like, Fossil Dina or, like, the Earth Barrier statue. We can even summon Fossil Dina off of them. Like, special summon? I don't know. But, um... Yeah. What was the point of this? 
Ah, I'll grab some follow up. Ah, that gets the negate. Interesting. I think Burner Souls are pretty cool, honestly. Like, they just give support to all Earth decks without being as overbearing as, like, Snake Eyes and stuff, you know? God, Snake Eyes are disgusting. Level 8 from Snake Eyes is almost a copy of Block Dragon. You know, now that you mention it, they're both level 8s. They both give support to their attribute. They both just reborn stuff and get a bunch of advantage. I think Flambridge is uh, designed a lot better though. And a lot more unique with like the disruption that it provides. It's pretty cool in the mirror. What I really like about like Snake Eyes is uh, like the field spell thing is the exact same thing as for the Fluandere's mirror. Where you just all like keep summoning off of your opponent's cards and shit, and then it's so fun. You just randomly have like super unique disruption that's like pretty much specific to exactly the mirror match. All right, so this isn't looking all too hot for Koji, I think, no? So what's the destruction pick here? If it's special summon, right? Oh, and you burn too. Mm. This is the part where you overlay for Numeron Dragon. Let's go. I guess they guys probably end up with the Dragon Band Limited. So I think Flamberish to one like makes hand traps more of like a real thing against the deck, right? Like you can't do like the anti nib line or anything. Um Yo, Zexy, hey there. However, it is an ultra rare. And this is Master Duel we're talking about. So they'll probably like semi Snash. Here's a super. Or like Ban Oak. God, that would be really awkward. Watch him just ban Jet Synchron again. He was on the ban list for so long because of like the sins of Halkify Rex. And then it just gets banned again. Oh yeah, Ash was a second hit. Maybe Bonfire comes out like at two. It's like hitting Snash just like marginally reduces the consistency of the deck. But like not in any meaningful way, it just feels more obnoxious to play the deck, basically. But like you still have a ton of ways to it. I was just gonna limit it because they usually make it banless. True. That's so real. I think it's gonna be like Snash at two or something. I think Flamberish to one is like the most realistic hit. Um that like at least puts a slight damper on the deck. I don't think it's enough at all like you just can't do the anti-nib line right that makes that means nib is better again but like you would just always go for the synchro line then i don't know um it's uh, almost the same tier as limiting diameter even now circular is legal for no reason i don't know i don't know i think circular it's pretty interesting actually what it does for like cybers like the problem is it just gives you way too much advantage like you just circular itself eats like three hand traps but what really tilts me is how link decoder gives you that last free body you need so you also get to make terahertz which then also protects you from called by and it gets you to your diameter if you were kept off of it 
like just get rid of that card man that card is not a thing that should exist oh koji should time out or just disconnect or are you dead oh you timed out oh no pain unlucky koji lost you the time limit all right uh beso in game one here all right I forgot to look at the cards there. All right. I'm gonna go grab something to drink real quick. I will be right back. All right, guys, super duper important question. When you guys drink your juice, do you mix it with water or not? Because I think juice just tastes way too sweet for me. If I don't mix it with water. Okay, we have some nasty mills here. Make the kit callous here, we have a rollback engrave. We hit another rollback, this is actually a hard one. Yes, okay. All right. Rollback here, gonna copy an eel bug nest. We get snow, oh my God. No water, just ice. No water, you're a child. You know where you drink tea pure? Whoa, 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 okay, wait, hang on. What do you mean you drink tea pure? Do you like, like inhale the powder? How are you not going to add water to tea? What the heck? It's your pro smokes is tea. No sugar. Oh, wait, who adds like sugar and shit to your tea? You're actually, you're wild. You're so crazy if you put sugar in your tea. Like, if you're making tea, you put like milk in like matcha tea or something, I guess. You put honey in herbal tea if you're sick. And you put sugar in like iced tea, I guess, if you want to. But if you drink like black tea and put sugar in it, 
like when it's warm you're an absolute psychopath wait he's just dead oh we live never mind he gets negated wait so it was a bait wait never mind no it wasn't uh oh well we still live right <gasps> roll back oh we've got you baited again God damn it. Also, why the tier zero pyro deck is called Snake Eyes? It's not fair for reptile decks. That's true. I hate how they don't have any like gambling mechanics. Base zombie world. Just reset. <laughs> Our meme. Out of Ace Attorney, where Phoenix eats the tea bag with foot. Dude, there's so many super funny Ace Attorney memes just for no reason. It's like, what is it? Like, is soup a drink or something? God, man. They're all so funny. There was some other one that was really hilarious that I forgot. Alright, so. Frantic takes game one here. I already watched this best over vs Koji game, right? And we'll go ahead and watch the next best over vs Koji game. Drink some delicious juice. Nah, dude, but juice with water is just better. It's not ridiculously sweet. The juice lasts longer. Save money. Feels great, man. Oh, boy. It's combo time. Oh, maybe it's no longer combo time? Nah, it's combo time. What's the room ID? It is... Not, not the, hello? I don't know, it disappeared. Where did I put it? Here it is. <laughs> you mix your coffee with mint and other extracts all right i've never heard of that before you have piqued my interest oh combo's ended All right, time to get Valence done. Wait, you could wait. It's not a Valence monster. I'm an idiot. What am I talking about? Wrong duel. That thing looks just like a Valence monster right here. All right, Mole Cricket. Let's go. You think Frappuccino of your own? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should try to make some Frappuccino. I don't really like coffee as much. I prefer tea. I love like Oolong tea. That's the best team. Yo, Goku. Hello there. I'm trying to duel, it ain't easy to win. Dude, it really isn't easy to win. Especially in the Duelist Cup. Oh gosh. I've just been playing stun. I had such a horrible day yesterday. Today went so much better. Frantic is restarting his PC. Why can't I spectate my own game? Wait, what? Something's hella scuffed right now. Fusion Destiny getting negated. Alright, gonna beat over the monster to get here. To get out the Stratos. Oh, to pop the back row. Well, I expect to reborn the guy, but too. Oh my god, it's the Terry Sacred Truth all about. Going to you from. PAB Club is the best one to have you tried it. I don't even know what PAB Club is. I am sorry. Huh? Best has died. What happened here? Vessel? Tell the trap can negate any card? And so yeah, that's like the point. It's like the hot red dragon archfiend abyss thing 
you actually just hard lose to that now? That's crazy. All right, Koji taking a game here, representing Southeast Asia. Maybe one thing I'll learn what the deck does. Another place you shoot nib for tur Ooh, that's, I, I, you hate to see it. Earl Grey, Earl Grey is fine. I have a decaffeinated Darjeeling I drink like at night. That was pretty good too, but I have a, like a salty caramel oolong. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Every time I open the drawer for tea, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try like a something like a bit mintier or something. And then I just smell the salted caramel oolong and I'm like, well, no, I guess we're uh, drinking this one. It is delicious. All right, then we'll start off with this game. We have to go figure out what PAB club is now. Let me pull it up. They're on Facebook. PAB Club T. Made some oolong tea, PAB style. Why is there a ton of alcohol? No, it's tell me it's not nib. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, what do you put in there? Some, uh, what is bullet rye? The heck? What does this stand for? Well, it was Nibiru. Surely, Sheeran triggers and does something. Oh my gosh. It doesn't. I cannot drink alcohol, dude. Almost every time makes me vomit. Ooh. Well, maybe you shouldn't be drinking that much. <laughs> that usually that usually helps. If you don't get like super wasted, usually it's not that bad. But yeah, I haven't drank anything this year either. It's actually crazy. Like you just go out with friends or all like, oh yeah, drink something whatever and then like you just casually drink so much so i decided to just not drink any for well at least until like easter right uh for this year and it's so easy to not drink if you just say oh no you're just not drinking alcohol and your friends are like okay or they're assholes i miss dark beer when i'm like out to eat i'd love to order like a dark beer with my pizza or something Oh, amazing. But that's it. I'm going to try vodka sometimes, but it's quite hard to get alcohol in a Muslim country. Oh, true. That's the th Oh my God. Super poly. Frantic, you're so disgusting with it. What the? And he pitches the strudel. Oh my God. Dude, Frantic is my opponent in every game in the Duelist Cup. Yeah, all the Muslims here just drink alcohol. Well, like, not all of them, but the vast majority of them do. I was getting drunk, I literally just can't tolerate the taste. Right, that makes sense. That also depends on the type of alcohol. Like, I don't like, uh, like, Prosecco or anything. And some beer is just atrocious. Some like the stronger stuff is really weird. Like the cinnamon stuff isn't for me either. 
But some like nice cocktails and stuff, but she not have summoned anything with like 2k attack. That's so unfortunate. It says 1k. Awkward. Damn, bro. Any normal summon just wins here, no? So do some criminal, like, I don't even know. I actually don't know. But that was, dude, that was so devious. Oh my God. It's gonna be like call by, imperm that he drew for turn. Another super poly. They're mixing vodka and whiskey in a nine to one ratio for Oolong tea, PAB style. What does PAB stand for? All right, Shadow, can you just full combo again here? My Akashi return. It, it looks like my Akashis are going to return. Have the Hajun. We have the feet. Do the animation. <laughs> Negate. I was actually there of a club because I've checked it online. And I actually found A reference to it made some oolong tea PAV style, but nobody says what that is. R slash grand blue. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, is it from the anime? Is that like how they make their oolong tea? They just dump it in there. I guess it's not oolong, right? <laughs> I guess Grand Blue is just about alcohol and boobs. Pretty wholesome and family friendly, if I do say so myself. All right, Ballard Rock. Pretty big here. This is where you get hit by a Nib 2 Electric Boogaloo. Aladrak is such a cool boss monster. Like, it's very strong, but it's not, like, completely overbearing. And it just plays well together with the rest of the archetype as well. I haven't pinged. I will watch this later, thank you. Interesting. I guess we have another way of adding the nib. Since I don't know what this deck actually does, I would have assumed we banish the nib and just beat out the Gurura. But it looks like we have another line here. You have the actual worst hand possible? Bro, you had like the nib that he's super poly the token. Oh, cool animation actually. He just super poly the token plus whatever. What was the light that he had? Oh, the Eldritch? God, that was so disgusting. Literally any normal summon and you win instantly. That's so unfortunate. Oh shit, this thing puts him on zero attack. All right, that makes sense. A lot of people don't understand when I say I don't like alcohol is I don't like alcohol. What do you mean? Like you... You still drink even though you don't like it? Or you're against like the concept of alcohol? I feel like the tasting is like, it depends on the type of alcohol because they all taste vastly different. Any tier was Jover? Dude, any normal someone with at least a thousand attack and it was Jover. 
or if you have a level 7 synchro with 2000 more attack any normal summon at all is just over that was really really unlucky that's crazy how shadow actually won that level 2 tuner my akashi so broken looks like a custom card true you're locked into playing my akashis though which somehow actually have a ton of disruption for some reason It looks like Shadow's take another one here. That's crazy, yo. Everybody's won one game here. Oh, it looks like Besso is done. Nobody look. It's awkward it tastes better for me. It tastes strong and almost not hot. I can't tolerate the taste. Alright, bro. It's, uh, everybody can have their own opinion on this. There's no shame in not liking it. Damn, bro. Beso got that anti-Nibiru combo here. Wait, maybe he doesn't. Never mind. It tastes like horse both time anyway, so you can't argo. Damn. You guys need to come to a country where they have good alcohol. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck you made plasma? Oh, they just imperm. Oh wait, why didn't you just imperm it? That's so weird. That's crazy. Okay, so future reference, right? I'm assuming you went to like pitch the Dimper or something. Um so what I think the right play was is you activate nib, you chain imperm on this thing. And then you chain your furniture to pitch the nib. And then the nib and the token don't get summoned. He has an empty board. He doesn't get the DPE that comes back. He's on exactly call by pass. And you have big welcome. Plus all these uh, three cards. I think that's the, the correct play to, to make here. All right, furniture deleted. Goodbye. There's a shuffler now. All right, I'm gonna hit the DPE and the stuff that comes back. We hit both melees? Yeah, okay. Wait, but now we just. Oh, this must be still summoned. Okay. I can just get back Stratos? Or is it only put back Destiny Heroes? Ah, it's only Destiny Heroes. All right. Wait, is this your second? <laughs> Stop it. What the heck? Oh shit, wait, call by his band. True! He's cheating! He's cheating! That's so disqualified. Actually, didn't check the deck because he joined like a minute before it started. Damn. He never submitted it, bro. Reported. Wait, but you set your call by already. Right? Or did you... I thought you set it here. Yeah, see you set this so you could not hit the furniture. More than one time friends serving alcohol, almost not alcohol. I noticed it's more like a trauma now. Well, that's uh... That sucks. All right, my guy Besso out here cheating his ass off. 
Tis, tis, tis. Also, call by. Oh, we forgot the spirits. Damn. I mean, if we go in game two, isn't that also just the whole series? Didn't she lose game one? Am I griefing right here? Yeah, no, it was 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this was game three. So, yeah. Alright, looks like Koji will be taking it by default then. For illegal use of banned cards. Unlucky Vesso. That was a pretty good run. These boys think it's scary as fuck. <laughs> True. It's either a frantic with the god sacks. Or HFS with the zombie power. Alright. Okay, so we were going to check out Cyber Angel cards before I forget. Uh, th oh, this was the one I think that they remade for um, Duel Links, no? Or this was the one that they made because this one. No, it's not, which was the one that has all the text on it? Huh. I said no right winning the game if you had nib in perfect true true I think uh that would have ended really unfortunately all right this card's virtually you can destroy as many face up monsters your opponent controls as possible that were special from the extra deck and if you do inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each and if you do this card can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn it's so return during other first turn after they destroy a card in the field you can shuffle it tomorrow Wait, this is so disgusting. Like, you're not going to be able to summon this because, like, a, a, this is going to get negated, right? But if they have, like, Baron plus, like, I don't know, something else, like Link Karibo, I don't even know. Or, or, yeah, you can, like, negate the negate on it, too. Disgusting. I don't think this is ever worth the slot, though. I think like the actual Drytron rituals are just straight up better than this. Let's send a monster ritual. Monster control attacks piercing. Let's see end phasing. Isn't it like one more? I'm so confused because I was playing um it was like speed duel with my girlfriend and she was playing Cyber Angels. Wait, let me go let me go grab my speed jewel cards. That's my music. It died. Oh, my headset just died. Awkward. Alright, time to find it. So it has Yidaton in it and Izana. Oh, and Benton. Huh. Is this the same one? Dude, it actually has so much text on it. What if it's like different for speed duels? Second attack. God, it's in German too, so it's like twice as much text, anyways. Dude, maybe I need to play like Endymion in German. Dude, low key if Endymion is like affordable, 
I might just get it. Just play that. There's no Electromite, which is super awkward though. But um, surely I can make it work. Dude, Natasha is so nuts. She looks so weird though. Two level eights, two level six. Level 10 and level four. Wait, what? Wait, Natasha's a five though, right? It's two eights, two sixes, five and a 10. Yeah. All right. It's time to spectate the game. Who's going first actually? cool sleeves too and everything all right frantic gonna get ashed on the rhino heart okay oh the chen drag leer pitching the big welcome for a big welcome why not just set the big welcome way Wait, I'm so confused. You just went minus one. For no reason. Needle bug, double needle bug nest. Nah, bro, not like this. All right, we hit. Okay, okay. We hit our other furniture and a rollback and a snow. Frantic, you are actually just so much better. And we rip the deep prison. Alright, Sheeran coming out here. You don't fucking this get it copied. Oh god, we're gonna mill something disgusting now. We hit both shufflers. Sully Rhino Heart that's live. Dude, this is so illegal, man. We get to add to your cash. Send another Rhino Heart. And now we send Havnus. Oh my god, what the heck? Going into kit. We're gonna add Havnus. Oh, interesting. I thought we are gonna, like, send Sheeran. No, we're just gonna mill Sheeran here. Watch. God fucking damn it. It's too Sheeran off of it. This is not real, man. Oh my god, he gets nibbed. Oh my god. Imagine getting nibbed on your opponent's turn. This thing has 10 bajillion everything. What the fuck? All right. Well, we used both fusions, so Gladiator comes back, but doesn't do anything. And Kit hits another transaction rollback. That thing's getting shuffled. God, this is so disgusting. And Snow's coming out. Jesus Christ. Bro, you got Omega sacked. What the fuck did I just witness? What the hell? Maybe I need to play this in a Duelist Cup. This deck is just a forbidden sauce, bro. Jesus Christ. This truly is a Tillman's moment. Just swinging with 12,200 attack. Oh my gosh. Dude, the wildest part is because he's not running Maxi, he can't like mill that dead ass card. Oh, true. Dude. I miss Merle too. Dude, that game was not even remotely close. What the heck did I just see? All right. Wow. Well, 
It was a good run, Shadow. It was pretty nice up until whatever the fuck just happened there, game three. All right, for our finals, we have Frantic versus Koji. GG's, guys. Did you get the FTK? And it, wait. You're running an actual FTK line? Or do you mean um, the, the trap thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you saw it at all, right? <laughs> well, maybe you'll pull it off now. <laughs> I only saw that um, Shadow was on it. Dude, the dumbest thing in the mirror is if you use transaction rollback to copy your opponent's uh, Mayakashi card thing after they use it. Like they use it to like turn skip you and then use it to turn skip them back. So dumb. Alrighty guys, you can start whenever you are ready. You should go next to your hand. Oh no. Not like this. Hey, rollback card is unfair as fuck. How do you open Rhino Heart every game? Rollback is a wild addition to the game. Wait, aren't we supposed to have uh, Arias first? I don't even know. Damn, bro, your deck list is wild. Protege, I just saw it. Yikes. It's disgusting. All right. The floodgate or a second true floodgate card that is hard to counter. Yeah, but like the issue with it isn't like the card, right? It's the floodgates, no? Like that you're abusing. Oh, holy shit, we have full furniture combo? The new chest for is just unfunny. Um, uh, understandable. Dude, too bad the Labyrinth Disruption does absolutely jack all against tier limits. I think it's interesting, like, Lab feels like such an interesting deck, right? Like, all the trap decks before it were just, like, Floodgate stun, right? Like, you had, like, actual stun deck. You have stuff like Trap Tricks. That, like, they literally have a card called Floodgate Trapple. 
like why that's so disgusting. Eldritch was super good with traps because it just ignored every single floodgate and had basically towers. And like lab actually does something unique. Like yes, you can get virus or uh, different dimension ground or D barrier or something, which is all like super unfun. But like in general, it's actually really unique and very interesting. You know, even allowed with no flow, it's just another trigger to a card that's hard to counter in neutral position. Yeah, well, in Master Duel, they have like a furniture cut down of four copies. So it's kind of awkward running like actual discard engines in there. But yeah, it just gives them more disruption. Like, I feel like that that kind of needs it to like match the power level of like the, the stronger decks or even have a chance against like aggro decks. All right, we're, huh. So we're gonna mill a Shuffler and Snow and Distrudo. Oh, we didn't. We only hit Chandra Glear and Rhino Heart. Interesting. That was half problematic and unfun and half great way to wall trap decks. True, actually. Very nice. I was like a unique defined playstyle, and it doesn't just like spam floodgates. Love how it's like it locks into like normal traps for the most part, right? If they printed support for it that says you can only use normal trap cards until the end of the next turn or something like that, that would also like help just stop floodgates. Or maybe you just don't play the support then. <laughs> uh. <sighs> there it is. The shuffler. Oh, do we already use this to fuse? Oh, oh, that's the one that we use for kit. Okay. Your cash is gonna hit the Havanus. The one, the one of Havanus in 26. It's going to be rollback Havanus and the second shuffler. Oh my God. He hit rollback from my Kashi. No, no, not like this. Give me the activate on the 27, the non Sentinel archetypes so is basically free as awful design. No, I think the setting it on your turn is nice because it has a card advantage cost uh, attached to it. And you can, like, traps are too slow normally, so it helps mitigate that. I think that's pretty cool. I think saying the non archetype traps is also really cool. I think the problem is when those non archetype traps are not cool. Right, like this lets you actually play the game like a normal, like mid range to combo deck instead of just something like Dinomorphia, right? Like on your turn, you set five cards and you pass, and then you activate all your cards, and then you're like, yippee, I have a floodgate. Or if you're going second, you set all your cards, and then on their turn, you spam all your cards out and hope that they resolve, and you're like, yippee, I have a floodgate. And Lab can actually do stuff going first. The way the my Kashi shop works without cost. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole point. It's because transaction rollback doesn't copy the cost, just the effect. So, yeah, you don't have to like actually pay the cost or anything for it. It's super disgusting. And on Arcade Traps, you can concept with the pool of unrestricted traps that are toxic to infinite. I guess, but that's more of a thing of like the cards being infinite, right? And there's also counterplay to it. Like you can like chain block the the lady. It, it gives them access to like silver bullet stuff, right? Like you can, uh, if you know you're playing as Brandy, you like turbo out uh, D barrier or something, right? 
but like for the most part like the synergy with stuff like ice dragon prison right like you were like dogmatic punishment is actually pretty unique i think that's pretty cool what i don't think it's very cool is like eev <laughs> or whatever the heck this war crime is with the mayakashi trap i'm pretty sure that car is gonna get banned or they just don't care because it's actually not like that super real i guess like you saw this is frantic's first game where he got to resolve it right only my cash should be allowed to use it yeah i think the problem with um rollback is how you just skip out the costs Yeah, there's other good targets too. Like you can use like EV and stuff if you wanted to. Yeah, I guess the problem is that rollback just ignores the cost. It was kind of like the issue with Verte and Dragoon, where you get to just send red like red eye fusion locks you for the entire turn, but uh, Verte just doesn't copy the restriction of it. Copying is pretty broken. Our poor Supreme King starring Venom Dragon had to suffer for the sins of FTKs. That was just an insult to the respect of deck too. I mean, yeah, I can see that. It's so depressing. Watch him trigger Rhino right here. He's thinking about it. Oh my god. Ah, oh, no, it's a shuffler, right? That we have. Wait, this thing stays in the graveyard. You have a second rollback and just copy it again. Yo, it doesn't even banish it or anything? Oh my god. Nah, okay. I take everything back. I said transaction rollback is just not fun. So the furniture, please don't pitch transaction roll back here. Thank God. Basically, it turns out your grave is take effect. Oh, true, yeah. Wait, what do you mean the second effect cost? Oh, you you banish yourself to target the guy to return that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, rollback doesn't like banish the target it's copying. I think that's crazy. I wonder what the play is here. Zexy, welcome back. We are currently suffering from crippling depression. Why would you return the lovely? It's just gonna get it back anyways, no? Koji cooked the fish. Koji is uh, getting cooked right now. What about LP cost is enough to justify strength? I mean, it's uh, kinda, yeah. I like a flat cost. It would be kind of interesting. Maybe. But yeah, it's uh. Usually you just get enough advantage off of it. 
that your opponent can't actually capitalize on you having less health. And there's no like time or anything either. Well, come Labyrinth. All right, we're chaining our own Welcome Labyrinth. Wild. I wonder what their last set card is. Hmm. LP costs are pretty much a joke. I think that's what's pretty cool about like Dino Warfare is how they utilize that intentionally. It'd be so interesting if they like start banning just generic bosses like Apo, Baron and stuff or eroding them to make them like locked into the archetype. But like you need more archetypal bosses. I think that's so cool about Lab is that they just have their archetypal bosses. Dinos as well. Dude, UCT is so nuts. Like I hate Cash as much as the next person. But like At least they're like pretty xenophobic. To the part where we set something we want in the graveyard. Let's go. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Their new tier was good with lab. Uh, I think it's more of just um, milling and transaction rollback and stuff. LP is just a resource you don't need to worry about unless your opponent can burn barely cards though. True dude, the only important life point is your last one. Because you're doing shit plays as usual. Damn, the poor guy. Why you got a clown on him like that? Two o'clock. Oh, I guess we have more furniture. What's funny? I got flogged two times in five. <laughs> Dude, true, actually. Dude, you're like the unluckiest person alive. I want to ban generic boss monsters. Is that shows the players the badge are kind of making boss monster archetype? No, no, I mean like you, um, you ban. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Yes, exactly what you said. Uh, shows the players the badge are kind of making boss monsters for the archetypes. Um, well, yeah, but like, if you look at the ban list, like, there's quite a few of them on there, no? Like TCG ban list at least. I mean, I guess stuff like Elf, Electra aren't like actually boss monsters, right? True. I like combo pieces. Dude, they have a lot of garbage archetype bosses. Dude, but they're so based. Like, nobody can genuinely say anything bad about DDD. I mean, except that it's like super hard die to any disruption on a link, too, right? But, like, aside from that, DDD is such a cool deck, man. I need to play DDD. Yo, after I hit my Duelist Cup rank, I'm just going to grind DDD on ladder. I have absolutely no clue what the heck they do. I don't understand their combo lines. There's like massive spread. If anybody has a spreadsheet, link link it to me. I will learn the deck. I will hit master with DDD and submit a deck list. And it will be beautiful. It's actually so complicated. No, they don't have bad boss monsters. They only have goaded boss monsters. 
boss monsters that are goaded with the sauce. And then in every event, they randomly make three new boss monsters you've never seen in your entire life ever before. And they're, they just randomly happen to completely and entirely cuck exactly your hand. DD combos are a Bible. I'm pretty sure the DDD combo spreadsheet is actually just like longer than whatever my bachelor thesis is going to be. <laughs> All right, to improve my viewer retention. It becomes Leo as a spreadsheet. Yeah, but I think the newest versions are always like behind a paywall or something, right? I saw an old version that was free. But like you're supposed to pay like 40 bucks or something to get like the, the newest version. It's crazy. Oh my god, I can flip all the guys. Not like this. Oh my god, it's over. It's so over. When you blink, the DDD player just some another guy in the chair. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so true. Dude, the funniest part is how Kali Yuga isn't even a viable card to run in DDDs. <laughs> That's the best part. Like, their arguably most broken card isn't even, like, a thing in their deck. Dude, I read the, the Raid Raptors... What's their Towers monster? The Ultimate Falcon? I read its secret effect for the first time today. That was just, this just wild. It also just floodgates the heck out of you. All right, Frantic. Popping off, taking game one. Will you guys find the rank with Pika's problem? Yeah, I mean, I guess like the, the Calamity thing where you like make it on their turn. That's the problem. The secret effect is the effect that nobody reads. Um, and therefore it is referred to jokingly as a secret effect because nobody knows it's actually there. It's like a secret for the people that actually read the full card. There's uh, let me see if I have anything with secret effects in here. Not all these cards are hella straightforward. Surely I have a deck list that has some secret effect thing in it. Um, I guess nobody knows the speedway cards to begin with, right? But there's stuff like uh, if this card gets outed, you get to add a speedway monster. Because that's not what you're making it for. Um, huh. Maybe Manadium has something. I haven't actually read any of these cards. Like in Imaginings, you can banish a card from your grave and then target a monster you control, make it a tuner. Stuff like that. Nobody ever reads that stuff. The new DD, 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 DD monster is broken. Oh, is it actually? DD, DD, DD is unplayable as fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting conflicting information. This one right here. Super Dimensional Sovereign Emperor Zero Paradox. Bro, they have like the sickest names ever. It's so cool. What kind of your opponent's Pendulum Zone? Special summon this card, and if you do, place that card in your... What the fuck? What was striking? This is the funniest shit ever. What the heck? All right, Pendulum Effect goaded. Completely worthless, but goaded. Every normal summon must be special by its own effect. Oh my god. Alright, it's already terrible. You pendulum summon the monsters while the total pendulum scales in your pendulum zones are higher than the total levels of what the fuck? You special card from your hand. Oh. Wait, has another wave of summoning. So okay. When you pendulum summon monsters while the total pendulum scales in your pendulum zones are higher 
and the total levels of the Pendulum Summon monsters. You can special summon this card from your hand. You destroy as many other cards on the field as possible. You can place a card in your pen. Wait, why would I want to do this? What the fuck? There's a scale 10. It's a, it's a level 12. Another face of DD monster control leaves the field by spell card or effect. Cards attack comes 6,000. Dude, this card is like horrible. And you watch when I bring Doc Turbo. Which one is Doc? I will check Doc. God damn it, it's an abbreviation, isn't it? This thing is Doc? Why is it called Doc? Is this Paradox? Or what? Ah, uh, dude, it would be so funny. Imagine the pendulum effect was a quick effect. Like, it would actually be pretty funny then. But like this, is just worthless. Like, what deck even leaves scales? I guess super heavies, maybe? I don't know. Alright, boys. It's time to cook. Misty Ceiling Pitching Valor for Angeli. Our hand must be cracked for Pitching Valor. And a lock ourselves into Medalches here. So we'll just be going for the normal combo. Is this where you get like Secret Village? No. Is this not the field spell one? Oh no. Wait, which one's the field spell? Oh, it's Butler's the field spell one. They have like the same pose, right? Like Butler Rusk or something. They barely have the same pose. I don't know. I think I'm tripping. <laughs> They're both facing to the left though. Me too made a short about baby names from Yugo and use that as an example of Colin and Doc. Interesting. You didn't ban Electromite. I play Symphonic. I think I have game in hand. Okay, but like, I didn't bin Electromite. It's Protege's fault. And he just lost instantly. Get back the Veiler. That's so cool. Actually, it's so cool. You can recycle hand traps. That's just nutty. What should I play next week? It's not this. <laughs> oh, uh, guys, I will be skiing next weekend. So you have an extra week to prepare because I can't host the tournament next week either. I apologize in advance. This means you guys get to actually test the uh, what is good this format. Bro, Koji, what the fuck? How are you still comboing? Oh my god, he sent the poor me. Magic Spectre Neftus. That'd be crazy. All right, so we have what? Shuffler, Veiler, Promenade. All right. 
Practice? You disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Alright, combo's over. Boom. Oh my god, he has Duster. Well. Oh, you gotta negate that. Play the Water Dragon archetype. Yo, if you can find a way to make Water Dragons like even remotely playable, it'd be crazy. No one knows about the secret Nephthys link. Dude, Nephthys Sprite actually kind of goes hard. I saw some really disgusting stuff. I saw some really disgusting Nephthys build that just like Scythe locks you somehow. Dude, it was crazy. Alright, Rhino Heart. Gonna chain Manadium, whatever the hell. Rim heart to the Valor here, trust. Sprite Crawler is me. Sprite Crawler is pretty funny too, yeah. Alright. These are all just public disruptions here. Frantic City has game in hand. Let's see it. Of course, make me a Sprite Palette. True. Have you guys seen how Joshua Smith has been playing Palio? Oh my god, he's chaining it properly. Dude, the Badalche is unironically just so good in the tier matchup. Dude, it was so fun how he was just out grinding people with just Palio Pile Man. That was wild. Because the other, other decks just like ran out of gas and he just keeps going. So cool. Alright, we hit Ariana. Ooh. Well, it's just going to get glass souffle away. And goodbye. Oh my god. We get to put back the Valor into our own hand. Oh my god, and it's not a hard one. What the fuck? Koji, what the hell? Oh my god, you're completely destroying them. What am I tin dangling ranked grind again? Dude, never again, bro. <laughs> that was so horrible, man. I thought we start with no gas and get hyper OP. Yeah, Palio is like a really good tempo deck. It's kind of like Weather Painters, but the deck is like fucking worthless for like the first three turns, and after that, you have no chance at beating them. Dude, Koji, this was absolutely nuts. Place deck in the middle of tier zero. Dude, this is actually kind of crazy. Wait, you just gain attack? Oh, this guy reduces non burn yourself ones? Billy Martin Yu Gi Oh! ends on turn two or three most of the time. Yeah. Is ready to make Zeus. Well, wait, is Zeus banned? Not banned. But you didn't make rank four. Magical muskets are actually pretty cool. It's a shame that they have so many ultra rares. But like you can play with runics. You unironically you can play magical muskets in Zephra because they get you uh to your scale. Oh, the rank four you were playing was banned? Oh, you were just on Baguska? Damn, I would have just made like Dweller or something. Or like Dryden, I guess. 
I hope the new Fiendsmith can solve the deck's problems. From what I've seen, Fiendsmiths are going to cause a lot more problems. <laughs> Those cards look pretty good. All right, we have two back row here, though. Runic Magical Musk is disgusting. It's pretty nice. Not sure it's worth it, but it's pretty cool. Magical Musketeer Max is such a custom card. Magical Musketeers are playable in Pendix in general. True. Hey, hello there. Are you here to support Koji? This was funny because the whole act was just one dude with some weapons. I haven't actually looked at any of it at all, if I'm being honest. Yeah, for you, man. Uh, Pendant Skill Tree as a continuous spell. No, uh, it's not treated as a continuous spell card. Um, it's a continuous spell effect, but it's not a continuous spell card. That makes sense. So, like, a field spell, right, is a continuous spell effect, but it's not a continuous spell card. So as all, like, the... Oh, well, that's why Flambridge can't summon it. Because it's a continuous spell effect, but not a continuous spell card. Just like a field spell. Right? Like a field spell is a field spell card, but the effect type it has, right? It's a spell, obviously, and it's a continuous effect because it is only active as long as it's on the field. And that's the same thing for the for the pen cards. Didn't know anything about this term until now. Damn. Tis, tis, tis. I even put it in the Discord. I need to plug my Discord again. Where's my invite link? Copy. Boom. Time to pin. I can't hit the pin button. There it is. Yo, wait, what is this goddess jump scare? What the heck? That's crazy. You miss Vidalce? <laughs> Him being put in Penzo with Snicker didn't count as pen skill. Yes, exactly. So that's because the, the pendulum zones, right? They used to be uh, extra zones to the left and the right of um, the, the actual field. And I'm pretty sure you couldn't interact with them as spell cards. Uh, with like an MST or something. Maybe you could. I don't know. I didn't play during that time. But basically, they were completely separate zones. Um, and they're still treated as completely separate zones. They just take up like the same space on the field. So if you like scale something, you're technically placing it in a different location than like the spell back row thing. Yeah. So the reason Flamberge can't summon scaled stuff is because they aren't continuous spells, uh, like continuous spell cards, right? Because uh, the way that the Snake Eye stuff works is it puts them in the back row as a continuous spell card. And the reason you can't Pendulum summon if they put one in your pen scale is because it's a continuous spell card and not a scaled Pendulum card at that time. Sheesh, frantic surrendering this game. They are fully spells and not monsters as continuous spell cards. Koji best baby, let's go. Got one win a piece here. Alright, that was that was pretty hype, dude. Coach, you went so hard on this guy. What the fuck? Dude, recycling the Veiler? Oh my god, it was so nice.
and like the way you played around the tier cards. Oh, fucking amazing. In short, because Konami said fuck pendulums. That is factually the reason, yes. Konami got like mad PTSD off pendulums. They're like, nope, pendulums can never be good again. Fuck Electromite, fuck half the performer pals. Monkey board, all of them, just get rid of them. Disgusting. Screw them over. Don't let pen summoning actually put the cards anywhere meaningful because we need to push link monsters. Take away their extra zones so they can get clogged and they lose the game a lot more. But hey, let's make super heavy samurais. Hehe <laughs> XD. Cards that interact with community spells effect. The banner stuff is unreasonable. Yeah, dude. The pendulums get shafted by everything. And then some. <laughs> dude, it's crazy. Oh, bro, watch Frantic go first, just sack the ever-living shit out of you, and the game ends in, like, three minutes. Should you like the banishment action? Dude, they should just undo Master Rule 4. They should just let me summon from the extra deck to the main monster zones. Don't give me all that... Link arrow bullshit. Or they should make like link pendulums or whatever. They should have like the ruling that if you have like a link monster that points up in the back row, that that counts as like a zone where you can summon to. I think Master Rule 4 gonna make pen tier zero. Probably. Like unironically, probably yes. Because in Master Wall 3, you could only summon extra deck monsters to the EMZ, right? No, or was that was that Master Wall 4? I don't know. I didn't play during those times. I would affect that even the impens don't. Honestly, Konami should get rid of main if you only put the extra deck. Real. Judgment arrows from brains will be almost pure pen support. What are judgment arrows? Even enemy has continuous spell against player three link arrow pointing upwards in the MZ. Oh. Damn, I want that. Went to the toilet. Oh, I surrendered. What? <laughs> My man is trolling. You went to twill on your own turn. <laughs> I went the old pen zone. Brain just surrendered like that while still lost. Yeah, surrendered, bro. Unlucky. What the heck were you doing? <laughs> Alright, well, it's 1 1 now. You have the grand finals. Dude, this song is garbage. What the heck? Yeah, I don't. I don't think you went, dude. Good coach, you went so hard that game. I just pee on the spot if I were the guy. All right, that sounds incredibly realistic. <laughs> it's true. I keep forgetting I have this. There you go, perfect. <laughs> 
All right. Get a spectate. <laughs> to move it up. Where it's like here? Wait, who are we spectating? No, Frenix up here, right? Where you at, name? There it is. Boom. All right. We also have this. It was big as possible to cover all of Frantic's field. Uh, I wish I could like stretch it, but I can only scale it. Uh, yeah, uh, keeping the same aspect ratio. Link Penmons will be great because uppers will finally be good. Yeah, dude, I was so sad when I um, I equipped the Celine, the Magistus Maiden, or Artemis. Yeah, Artemis is her name, right? Artemis has the up arrow. Like I equipped that, and I pointed it up, and I couldn't use the zone. I was so sad, bro. <laughs> the retention is insane, baby. Let's go. Old pencils and side link arrows. Well, they're not connected technically, right? So that wouldn't that wouldn't help. Oh god, the turn skip mill. What the fuck? He just hit it. This is the this is the least real thing I've seen in my entire life. What the fuck? There's no way Sheeran just. What the fuck? There's no way Sheeran just hit the one of Havnus, the one of Stir Skip. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, even called it, bro. I even called it. I was just gonna hit the third skip, which is win instantly. What the fuck? I was equipped never counted as a monster, anyway, but either equip or continue spell. This way, arrow never counted. Well, yeah, obviously, that this, like, obviously, the arrow doesn't count, like, rule wise, right? But how cool would it be if it did count? Like, they had a special ruling that no matter where the link arrow comes from, it counts. Dude, man's got the help. Dude, honestly, at this point, y'all, y'all are laughing, right? But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Koji. <laughs> It'd be great at least if Kami gave us a fully ritual pen deck and a pendulum Gemini. Okay, actually, pendulum Gemini sounds pretty saucy. Like you get the special, all the guys, and then you have like a some scale. Dude, you have like something like some card that like sets up pen scales and says you can only summon Gemini monsters. And then the other scale says something like uh, you can normal summon each pendulum summoned Gemini again, or like pendulum summon Gemini gain the normal summon effect, something like that. That'd be pretty sick. You can full combo under turn skip floodgate. Sounds base. Wait, do we uh Oh, we already copied it, true. What even is the floodgate exactly on it? Now that I can special summon monster from the hand deck or extra deck the rest of this turn. Damn. Are you crazy? Man, change the Family Guy clips. True. I also have uh, this thing. Elf. <laughs> Rip Camellia. Yeah, 
Never mind bricked. Yo, that's wild. Dude, I need to like set up a bunch of different scenes for like different viewer retention things. <laughs> for only ritual appendix that use, for example, scales as ritual spells, includes monster from extra example. There's cards that wait, isn't there a card that ritual summons using the scales? There's something that exceeds summons with the scales. And there's like one other summon mechanic that you can use the scales for. Maybe it's synchroing. I thought it was rituals. There's also ritual pendulum cards, right? Like the odd eyes thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. The needle bug nest. He's gonna hit like the shuffler and snow and another transaction roll back to turn skip him again. I'm so sick. Koji's contemplating ashing it. Oh, he just whiffed. He's gonna use the second eel bug nest. Oh my god, he's the mommy. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna lose my shit if it's a second eel bug nest and he actually hits off of it. What do you mean pens are a flawed mechanic? Your mom is a flawed mechanic. Pen is the best mechanic. Pen best deck baby, let's go. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a ritual you can pen summon. It's the odd eyes one. Fusions were flawed with a new fusion deck. Ah, uh, I don't think that's true. I think fusions were like healthy game design for their time, but they just got like insanely power crept. Like, in old school Yu-Gi-Oh, fusions were, like, pretty well designed, right? Like, you had strong boss monsters with strong effects or, like, high attack. But you had, like, a bunch of setup that you needed to do, right? But, like, for modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you go minus three. Well, minus two, I guess. So either fusion has to be, like, Omega Broken, or it's, like, a massive toke point. Uh, or you just use materials from deck to offset the material cost. So you don't lose out on a card advantage. Or you banish stuff, right? Uh, for it. You have an exceeding singer error, we're almost unplayable. Yeah, that's that's not because it's a flawed mechanic, it's because of power creep when they introduce new summoning mechanics. It's because you lose too much advantage and you need like too specific of stuff, right? It's like the same thing for rituals. But rituals are like even worse. Like the fusions are at least in the extra deck. Wait, why is the Kukla come back? Oh, yeah, Torbjorn. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's gonna do it. I feel like you should have just like toggled on and done this. He was the worst mechanic until Konami actually fixed it. I think the, the ruling for the material is pretty interesting, how they changed it. Measure ritual spell that works like branded fusion. It's like kind of similar stuff, but just a lot weaker. I think rituals are like incredibly abusable by virtue of them being so fucking bad that they have to be broken to like offset the cost of them being atrocious. Wow. Must be nice. 
having a snowman. Yeah, so like if you could like generically access rituals for free, they're so bonkers. Voiceless voices, ritual support. Yeah, I wonder how that does. It seems pretty decent, honestly. True, just like advanced ritual art, yeah. There's two different uh, advanced ritual art thingies, right? Like one of them summons from hand, uses material from deck, and the other summons from deck, uses material from hand, right? Who Link is and was the worst summon kick and balance? Yeah, that's true. Link is just a balancing nightmare, honestly. Links are so good for consistency and for like helping weaker decks, but uh, they're so unhealthy for like the stronger decks that are like designed to abuse them. Well, Voices Voice is also talking attorneys in TCG because um, probably nobody knows what it does. Obviously, the cards aren't like super ass, right? But there's just snake eyes and like trash decks running around right now also um don't forget that um there's a lot of like regionals in like especially south america that just don't have a lot of uh turnout so you have like the weird Cosmo deck list or whatever that just like wins. Actually, a Megalith ritual is a perfect example of how ritual decks should actually play. Yeah, Megaliths are. They seem pretty healthy, honestly. Frytron is also pretty cool. It has an interesting Xeno you know, lock on it. I actually haven't seen any competent Libromancer players, so I can't really comment on that. But the cards look pretty nice. That's the gate is not once per turn, no. Uh, Sunflower, no. But like you have to tribute itself. You have Link's Trickster support coming. Dude, I don't want to see Trickstar support. Trickstar is so fucking cancer. I remember the first game I played against Trickstar, I max seed them. Um. Because I didn't know what the deck does, and it just burned me to death. <laughs> God, I hate Trickstar. And after that, I haven't seen a single competent Trickstar player ever again. I'm more interested in the Melodious support. Wow, you're banishing Destrudo. And Torby. Koji, no! Connection failed. Not like this. Oh man, dude, this game was so interesting. Ah. Uh... Unlucky. Honestly, it could have gone either way. Both of you deserved it. That was that was pretty nuts. Alrighty, frantic. Music too loud. My ears are getting sick and embarrassment. Wait, is the music actually too loud? I have it on like as quiet as possible. Koji is true, the people's champion. Dude, but like, frantic fucking sacked the shit out of everybody, bro. That was kind of goaded too. But I think it's wild how how well Koji played here too. Nat's gonna get the snow again. Yeah, you probably just negate the, the flip effect. Yeah, see, frantic, you did it. All you needed was an awkward ban list and to absolutely sack the shit out of everybody. <laughs> 
All right, it's time to draw the victory picture. Which card are we drawing? What the heck is this window even? Big L finals. Real. Draw Sleepyhead. Which one is Sleepyhead? Do you know what the K in Koji stands for L? <laughs> what, like the Diabell Star or the Nemleria or which Sleepyhead? Stands for King. Yo, Shadow the Goat, bro. Dude, Shadow's the best hype man. The, the ancient Shadow stands for hype man. <laughs> Demerelio one? Alright, I got it. Let me go pull up the picture. Alright, alright, alright. Um, let's see. God, I'm so good at drawing. Big time record. Cup right now with this deck. That's crazy though. Logic for why you boomers really hate pendulums is because they have a lot of text. They're not splash from Dark Magician or Blue Eye. True. They're too old to read. Like, you boomers are like old as fuck, right? So they have bad eyes and they need their reading glasses and they just can't be bothered to read all those cards. Other cards of poly and rollback. True, I saw you're only on one super poly. How many rollback were you on? Is a mech that puts all my artists to shape. True, bro. Maybe I should get paid. Alright, and she has a. Uh... Is that a necklace that she has on? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. It is now. We're drawing Chewie's different avatar in that style. True. This draw will be the girl walking up to banish a field. She's secretly stealing. <laughs> All right, what am I missing? I think, oh my God, she has a hat on? Oh yeah, I did not know this. Well, your hat is so cute.
Um, Uh, you give it this face. <laughs> True, bro. What do you mean, what is that abomination? It's a one to one, but it's 240 p. <laughs> it's the last thing here, Jade. Stop before he dies. Yo, why are you guys roasting me like that? <laughs> Damn, I need to cut out the black. There we go. Dude, it's beautiful. Just give blue rectangle tear. Damn, yeah, my grandmother couldn't draw this wall before she returned to grocery space. <laughs> Dude, it's beautiful. All right, what if I give this to the AI? I will see what my Aya has to say here. Go through my take grammar can't draw this even if you wanted to. <laughs> God, I hate you all. <laughs> Where's the upload? Here it is. We'll do anime here, generate four. I will put sleeping girl laying down. Generate. Boom. Not, it's not generating. Oh, I have to log in. Huh? Where's the Where's the homepage? Hello? Profile. Wait, actually, where is the login button? Ah. Well, it worked. Image remix. Generate. Boom. All right. We popping off. The AI will make it 18 plus. Possibly, yeah. What? Just you do without knowing this. <laughs> Maybe she woke up to be it just goes so fast and fast that she destroys everything. <laughs> I had cut into the text from the way I'm doing I don't even want to know what that means, bro. She's pendulum, describe her effect. Yo, what if I just copy paste her, her pendulum effect into the prompt? All right, the AI is griefing me. It literally just gave me back the picture that I made. I'll, I'll try this. Okay. Now we go for, um... Nelaria. Click here. Where do I find, uh... Based on Dreaming Nelaria. Wait, do I copy her pendulum effect or her monster effect for the for the prompt? What type of like, images of sleepy kids? God damn it, man. 
both the pend effect? Yes. I guess I'll just put both. Let's have a, let's have a gander here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got we got this, which is actually just not even bad at all. That's that's pretty good, no. So I will try one time with each. So this is without. Why should have a tail in one of them? What the fuck? Dude, her feet are on backwards on half of them, man. <laughs> Look, my sister. <laughs> We're outside from the fourth floor. <laughs> Dude, you guys are so wild. What the heck? Right, this is if I put in the the pendulum effects. Let me see if I can change some more of the if we try this. Oh I can force it to like do more prompt stuff. <laughs> Dude, why is she just a magical girl? Mo, well, maybe because it said spell card. Yeah, there's a sky strike. I'm sorry for your child to use some deformities. Damn, bro. It's like time for an abortion, like the 73rd trimester or something. <laughs> I was too immaculate. I can't recognize it. That means the yeah, I can't copy my art. True. Why is the left legs become hair? True, dude. The left legs always screwed up. Well, I guess she has like a tail in one of them here, right? But you don't know. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I uh. All right. These are crazy. What the heck? We tweak them with strength a bit more. <laughs> You're kind of nuts, honestly. Sad her mom. Dude, it's like a magical girl's anime. Dude, what happened to the top left was right leg, though. Oh, no, it's going to the back. You can see the foot behind it. There's just like a light on front of it. Dude, the bottom one's thighs are way too thick. Dude, the bottom left one is just, I don't know. Like, they cut off her head to show her tits and they just get rid of her foot. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? Oh no! <laughs> These are so good. What what what, what happened? <laughs> oh my god, man! Oh my god. <laughs> I said, fuck it, I'm not doing this. I to get drunk before proceeding. <laughs> Dude, I think Loki, I'm just better than the AI at this point, no? Escape containment. Yo, do the bottom right one here, escape containment. 
<laughs> Dude, this is horrible. <laughs> you deaf one. <laughs> Look, I was like the cry guy is still at the bottom. Oh wait, what if I... Instead of using the anime filter, I use the realistic one. Oh god, this is just worse somehow. I don't know, dude, somehow it just got even worse. <laughs> Drop the text of Endymion for curiosity. Alright, alright, let me go pull it up. Endymion, the mighty master of magic. It's generating. I don't even know. It's uh, where's the space? Here we go. It just made this. Yo, what if I take the Nemleria effect and I just use that for the prompt without giving it the base image? And then we'll use some anime filter, I guess. Take that out. Aspect ratio, 1-1. One, one. All right. Let's see what it thinks. I don't give it the image. It's the best part of the stream. We <laughs> <laughs> should design the cards like this. True, bro. Show this to my cat, now my cat sort of fight the Skynet. <laughs> Dude, my cat would no longer be afraid of Skynet. Oh god, it's still generating, bro. This is gonna be horrible. Oh my... Okay. Okay, but actually, this is interesting. I can even attempt to generate the text. That's so, okay. I'm using the one that does the text generation. Like, obviously, it doesn't have like the color scheme or anything. I just copy pasted the text, but that's pretty nutty. We will regenerate another one here. I would take like 20 years again. Oh. <laughs> what is this, bro? It's like halfway almost there. This is supposedly the one that does like the text super well as well. That's crazy. Yeah, it, look, it does look like MTG cards. I guess they were traded with like magic. I guess magic might be just more popular than Yu-Gi-Oh. But also, have you guys, uh, you guys heard a, a Pendulma? Pendulma balls, got him. <laughs> <laughs> the pure text, very of the vanilla. It says check this could be good. True, actually. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this is crazy. I right, let it generate one more time. How do I uh scroll down? Oh, here we go. Yoinks. Should big as fuck, boy. 
Dude, look at these. Look how clean these look. You can like almost read the text too. Maybe I should like put the, the name maybe. Let me go check out. What is it? Um, McKnight Abram, right? It actually just says, check this out. It's beautiful. Maybe there's like a way to like copy like the entire card text. There's a card from Hearthstone because the borders. True. We should make a card game. <laughs> Fadgen, dude. I tap three mana to summon Pendlaum effect. Drone guy, you Simona Nemleria, the Speaks in Cthulhu, Exitor, Active Pendelexing, you Denise Curved Cormod, Yuna Veda Hedi Kadadad, and Sevia Limitatinina Supera Conalfer. Love you. Ah, deflect the. Nomarl A minus 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 graveyard Akildea. I also have row menmuser points, so get fucked. Japanese real text about being a hero. Oh, wait, shit for real. Oh, this is what comes when I put check this out. Uh, oops. So uh yeah, check this out boys. I will I will find the, the OCG text. Um We'll copy this and we'll go to Google Translate and then we'll paste this in. Jesus Christ, you have so much text actually. And then we will paste that out. I love how they shorten it. Oh my god. Like this is the, the actual text for it. I, I can't even type it in here. Yeah, so it ends with uh, it becomes a sword that will cut through the darkness. <laughs> Your credit takes off your rage for Yu Gi Oh for six months. <laughs> okay, but Loki, he looks pretty baller. Like, this guy is actual Giga Shad. Check this out. How try with Doc? <laughs> if you win with Doc, I'll do it next week. But I'm a, I'm a, oh, fuck. All right, I'll put Doc's name. I'll put Doc's name once. And then I'm going to bed. We already ended hours ago, right? Yes, you are correct, Doctor. You go get sick, I can't sleep. No, not like this. <laughs> Let me sleep. I must. I need the sleep. I need the sleepies. The sleepy weepies. I need to become this IRL. This is my life's goal. Oh, I need to put him in the Hall of Fame, eh? Alright, where's the... Where's my Hall of Fame? Here it is. Call 
Congratulations at Fran Frantic, you're not my server. Sleep is for weaklings, true. Alright, let's see what the AI did. Oh shit, what? It looks like the, the anime version of the card, actually. Actually looks pretty sick, honestly. The face reds from the Chernobyl girl. <laughs> Bottom right is my inner persona. Honestly respectable. But what if? What if we hit him with this? Wait, so it's gonna be transparent, right? So, the life hack here, right? Yeah, good enough. We'll use this color to fill this gap. And then it's no longer transparent. Let's go. Beautiful. No, well, actually, my name is not that crazy. It was weird. Sometimes you can say, yeah, I have no clue, bro. It's really awkward. All right, perfect. <laughs> this is the next artwork. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I had a bunch of fun today. See ya.